something happens. You are taken by surprise. <gasps> what exactly should you do? Should you remain quite still? Should you leg it? Or should you flex your muscles? How exactly does your body respond when it perceives a threat? Hi, I'm Mike Lally of KnowYourMind.com. Welcome to part 13 of Body Language Expertise. In the previous part, I discussed how people demonstrate the freeze response when they are made to feel uncomfortable. Obviously, this differs from the way the body will respond to real physical danger, but exactly the identical principles do apply. When in freeze mode, an attempt to shut the body down physically is made. The head goes down and the shoulders get hunched up. Eye contact is avoided. A movement is kept to a bare minimum. Now you see me, now you don't is the device people use to make to shrink themselves to make themselves look small, invisible if possible. So when a person is taken by surprise, they will often freeze, at least initially. But what might they do next? Well, if the present danger is still there, the limbic system will send a message to you very quickly for you to run away. Escape is the key word. Get as far away from the danger as possible. Now, running away from danger may make perfect sense when you see a saber-toothed tiger licking its lips wondering what's for lunch, but it's not entirely appropriate if you're in a business meeting and you find yourself being put on the spot. The flight response has the answer when you want to escape a tough, worrying position without having to scramble away. Your body language knows precisely what to do when you face an uncomfortable circumstance. By the way, the response your physiology makes is nowhere near as startlingly obvious as quickly heading in the direction of the hills at a rate of knots. But the astute observer can easily spot the signals and respond accordingly. In essence, you want to distance yourself from something you would prefer not to consider. Now, thank you very much you think. Here are some of the more common characteristics of the flight response seen in everyday situations. People turn away and point their feet towards the nearest exit. The eyes close more often and a person may even rub their eyes. You may see someone place their hands in front of their face. Also watch how the body leans away as an uncomfortable moment occurs. All of these are distancing, non-verbal behaviors that clearly indicate a person is uncomfortable. Go ahead and test this. Ask for something that is likely to make a person feel awkward and uncomfortable and see if you can spot one of these signals. Then you should probably apologize. That completes this part. Thanks for watching. Click on the image and I will take you inside the fascinating world of how the body physiologically responds in a discussion to a sensitive situation that could easily make you or somebody else feel uncomfortable. And these insights and knowledge can swiftly improve your communication skills. Remember, you have many faces, many skills, many talents, and some terrific attributes, and many choices. Take the time to observe these signals when you're out and about. It's amazing how prevalent they are. So until we chat again, take care. Cheerio for now.